And yet, what validity does such magic have? It is based on the history of the moral and legal suppression of blood sacrifices. It derives solely from the association of all forms of magic with human sacrifice. It is solely a study of self-proclaimed pagans now who are simply recalcitrant monotheists who know yet simply deny the idea of the existence and the will of the omniversal sentient one true God as it has been defined thus far by the three major monotheist religions. They call themselves agnostics, meaning that they neither believe nor disbelieve in the existence of such a god, but that they remain open to the possibility that one might exist. In short, they are open-minded Gnostics, who have studied all the scriptures of monotheism, and found the true and original metaphysics of magic to be greater than them. They as often refute as affirm the validity of these scriptures, picking and choosing which bibliomancies to fancy debatable for the day. Yet, ultimately, they remain merely a modern byproduct of the three major Western monotheist religions. But we cannot cynically deny the validity of their belief in the simultaneous existence and non-existence of the monotheist god. Therefore, these grimoires of magic offer neither less nor more inspiration to a student of the true and original metaphysics of magic than do all the recombined monotheist scriptures. In truth, if there is a god, according to the specifications of a most high form of sentient mind, the nature of its thoughts would be ineffable to us regardless. What here follows is a collection of all the grimoires most pertinent information, arranged in the standard format of these books on practical magic. First, follow the terms of magic, in chronological order all the definitions thereof. Second, follows the history, describing the origins of the contents of the work. Third, follow the invocative prayers to be recited before undertaking the particular magical work. Fourth, follow the barbarous names of evocation in descending rank. Fifth, follow the laymans and sigils of these same. Following this, I will include additional appendices depicting all the relevant tools of these crafts and workings of this art. This work is not intended for any practical use, only for philosophical study. Engage in any of the dark evocations given here solely at your own risk.